This art exhibition called The People features quotations about democracy that span from ancient time to the present. Not only was it displayed at the National Mall in Washington last month, but it has also been digitally projected on iconic buildings around the world. Part of the U.S. State Department's Office of Art in Embassies, which works with art communities to promote democracy. We took the 60th anniversary of Art in Embassies, the 60th anniversary of the March on Washington, which makes the National Mall an iconic place for the evolution of our democracy, and launched 1,000 quotes of democracy. These quotes were projected simultaneously on the facets of Hirschhorn Museum and the Smithsonian's National Museum of American History. The artist, Jenny Holzer, uses language as her primary medium. Another traveling exhibition that made a Washington stop last month was a more perfect union, also at the Smithsonian's National Museum of American History. It featured the work of several contemporary U.S. artists and traveled through Athens, Lisbon and Geneva before arriving the nation's capital. Our work typically happens overseas. Um, our work all happens in embassies and diplomatic facilities, so to have art here on the mall is really special. Megan Byer says President John F. Kennedy initiated the idea behind art in embassies with the goal of uniting a free world through art. Every ambassador told us that it was such an effective way to, to talk about the values of democracy, equality, justice, truth, freedom. Both exhibitions were part of an initiative by art and embassies called Democracy Collection, which brings together artists to promote ideas about the health of democracy around the world. Saqib al-Islam, VOA News, Washington.